we're going to dive into the enchanting world of white dog breeds with coats as pure and delicate as freshly fallen snow. These dogs are not only visually stunning, but also come in various shapes, sizes, and personalities. From small and fluffy to large and majestic, we'll introduce you to 15 adorable white dog breeds with coats as light as snow. Number 15. Bichon Frise Four of the small white dog breeds we're sharing today fall under the Barbichon group that originated from the Mediterranean. The Bichon Frise, the Bichon Maltese, the Bichon Bolognese, and the Bichon Havanese. Bichon is Middle French word meaning small, long-haired dog. The Bichon Frise originated from the Tenerife in the Canary Islands and were such popular companions to French sailors that they were originally known as Bichon Tenerife in the 1300s. The Bichon Frise, along with Bichon Frise mixes, is a small breed, their average weight between around 12 to 18 pounds. They're instantly recognizable by their fluffy white fur and friendly faces. Daily grooming is required to keep their cloud-like coats looking and feeling their best. So many Bichon owners take their pets to the groomers every four to six weeks. Number 14. Maltese The second member of the Barbershan family is the Maltese, from, you guessed it, Malta. Often sporting a bow in their signature long white locks, these elegant creatures require regular baths and daily grooming to keep them looking their aristocratic best. As well as consistent grooming, Maltese and Maltese mixed breed owners will also need to remain consistent with their obedience training. This is important as these lap dogs are incredibly quick at identifying ways of getting what they want from their owner. Number 13. Bolognese The Bolognese, also known as the Bichon Bolognese, is the Italian member of the Barbichon group developed centuries ago in the city of Bologna. They are a small, stocky breed with a long white curly hair coat. Due to their calm, loyal nature and moderate exercise requirements, they make fantastic dog breeds for older seniors or those who are retired. But note that the Bolognese can be prone to separation anxiety and they will need to be around their owners a lot. Number 12, Havanese. The final member of the Barbichon group is the Havanese, named after the capital of Cuba. Havanese are small and sturdy with long silky coats and curly tails. They're cheeky, charming, and bound to add joy to any household. Like most small breeze, the Havanese exercise requirements don't extend further than a daily walk or play in the backyard. They also really enjoy agility training, which can be a great outlet for physical energy and a lovely way to bond with your Havanese. Number 11. Pomeranian Pomeranians are an energetic addition to the toy breeds, but don't let their size fool you. Those tiny bodies contain some huge personalities. The Palm's popularity has noble origins, as Queen Victoria was largely responsible for bringing them into the mainstream and frequently exhibited them at the Crufts Dog Show. Marie Antoinette and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozarts were also lovers of the Pomeranian. You could say that the Pomeranian's high status beginning have meant they have become accustomed to a certain lifestyle. The breed is a bona fide lap dog and needs a significant amount of grooming, with particular attention paid to their coats and teeth. Number 10. Toy Poodle Toy Poodles, as the name suggests, are smaller types of poodle as opposed to the standard version. They possess all the wonderful qualities of their standard counterpart, just in miniature. The Perky Poodle has a reputation of being flamboyant, but the breed originated as duck hunters in Germany and were known as Poodlin, which means splashing in water. Toy Poodles are awesome companions regardless, but especially if you also love to swim and live near water. Number 9. American Eskimo American Eskimo dogs have slightly misleading names as Eskimos or Inuit, as they're more commonly called now had nothing to do with the origin of the breed. Instead, they are likely to have evolved from the German Spitz breed. Eskies are very clever creatures, so they need lots of mental stimulation or will resort to creating their own, a polite way of saying they may become destructive. 
In addition to lots of obedience training and access to toys, fun dog games will help keep your American Eskimo dog entertained. Number 8. French Bulldog Coined one of the best dogs for city living, the French Bulldog is an incredibly popular breed due to their charming, playful dispositions and cute bat-shaped ears. They also have big personalities that will help them to thrive in most families and households. Despite their muscular frames, Frenchies and French Bulldog mixes only require a short walk a day to satisfy their exercise requirements, and as a flat-faced breed, they shouldn't be allowed to overexert themselves in hot weather. French Bulldogs can't swim well, so if you own a pool or live near a body of water, extra caution is required. Number 7. Coton de Tulier If you're a fan of fluffy dogs and want a small white breed, you need a Coton de Tulier in your life. The Coton in their name is French for cotton, referring to their cloud-like white coats, and Tulier is a seaport town in Madagascar, where they were the Royals' favorite breed. The Coton Tatulier has an amazing life expectancy of 15 to 19 years, and the breed suffers from very few genetic diseases. That being said, any responsible Coton Tatulier breeder will still carry out the standard health test on their dogs prior to breeding them. Number 6. Pulley One of the bigger small white dog breeds we'll talk about today, the Pulley, is a distinctive looking breed thanks to his long, low shedding fur that looks like cords or locks. They tend to weigh about 25 to 35 pounds once they are fully grown. A pulley's grooming regimen is one that'll certainly take a bit of time and practice, especially in the early stages of your pup's life when their cords start to form. There are a ton of great resources out there to help you master the technique, so don't let that stand in your way if you like the breed. Number 5. Chinese Crested A breed unlike any other, the Chinese Crested is famous for his unique hairdo and hairless body. There's also a version of the breed that has a full body of fur, known as the Powder Puff variety. This elegant Chinese dog breed stands at around 13 inches tall and is considered one of the best dogs for kids. The Chinese Crested breed has a rich history dating back to the ancient times, where hairless dogs were first brought to China from Africa on trading vessels. They gained an excellent reputation aboard these ships for catching rats and other vermin, so don't be surprised if your Chinese Crested starts exhibiting hunting behavior. Number 4. Miniature Bull Terrier If you're familiar with the Bull Terrier, the miniature version will need no introduction. For reference, the Bull Terrier stands at around 22 inches tall, while the miniature Bull Terrier is normally only 14 inches tall. These guys are affectionately known as the class clown of dog breeds, as they are such funny, mischievous personalities. This can often tip over into misbehavior, and some owners report that they are notorious for eating things they shouldn't. But obedience training in a positive, fun manner should ensure their personalities remain all of the nice and not so much of the naughty. Number 3. Japanese Spitz The Japanese Spitz has fluffy white fur, a fox-like pointed muzzle, and a cute button black nose and pair of eyes. It's like Walt Disney drew them up himself. Their size is considered miniature, and they are not dissimilar in build to our American Eskimo friends. Sadly, the Japanese Spitz full history was destroyed during World War II, so what we know is limited. However, there is recorded proof of their first exhibition in Tokyo in 1921, and they became an official Japan Kennel Club breed in 1948. Number 2. Chihuahua You've probably seen a Chihuahua in the arms of Hollywood's socialites or stealing the show as Bruiser Woods in Legally Blonde. These dogs are famous for their tiny bodies and huge personalities, and they're ideal companions for all cities, not just Beverly Hills. Chihuahuas have been known to have a commanding temperament, so a firm but always positive hand is needed when obedience training, especially when reinforcing that you are in charge, not them. Number 1. West Highland White Terrier A number of wonderful terrier breeds come from Scotland, including the West Highland. Their journey began as rodent hunters, also known as ratter dogs. 
but they quickly became wonderful family members across the UK and other parts of the world. Westies are very low maintenance and only require your standard canine grooming routine. Their training routine, however, will require a little more work. As they were bred to work alone, their independence can be a challenge when teaching them to respond to commands. Keeping things fun and entertaining is the key. Which one of these cutest breeds you would like to get? Please subscribe to Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.